what's up YouTube family it's Brandon back again with another edition of that real killer fishing and today we have a whole bunch of awesome six cents gear a new divine rod juggler pliers a new shirt we have a bunch of stuff to do today so let's get right on it we're gonna start out with this bad boy this is the 7.5 divine casting rod we're gonna open this thing up. I haven't opened it yet. It's been two days that I've had this thing, but I wanted y'all to share an experience with me of the oohs, the ahs, and all that. I wanted y'all to see it come out. I wanted y'all to see that this thing comes in a really nice PVC tube. But we're gonna cut this open. We're gonna pull this rod out, and we're gonna see what this bad boy is all about. And not only am I gonna do this unboxing and unwrapping and everything else today, I'm gonna show you how this bad boy fishes. I'm gonna put my new reel on there. All right, the cap is off. All right, oh, there it is. There it is. Lucky, lucky, lucky. This thing is magnificent. It comes in a little rod stock top carrier. Something to keep it even nicer. Look at that thing. Beautiful. put it in a really nice holder. Oh, look at that, folks. It even has a little Velcro pouch. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. the other thing for y'all so y'all can see what I'm putting on here take this right there and we're gonna open this thing up and in just a minute I'll get some line on it because I haven't spooled it up either there it goes Nice SLX DC, left-handed retrieve, 7.2. This thing is gonna be fire, this absolute fire. All right, we're gonna take that, put this down in the real seat. That's real smooth. Oh good, it doesn't. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, sometimes y'all put a new reel on and on the reel seat when you go to put it on, this little thing like buckles out. I don't like that. And then after a while it gets like wore out and cracked. That's just no good. Oh yeah. 
We're gonna be able to pitch and flip real well with this thing. You're gonna see here in just a little while. All right, as much as I wanna continue to play with my rod, I got a couple other things I wanna show y'all. So we're gonna keep it real, real killer. And we're gonna open this. This isn't just a premium sack. This is actually a whole bunch of other gear that I've gotten. A few things that I've been wanting and something that I think y'all are gonna really like. These pliers that I ordered are boss, is what they are. All right. First thing I want to show y'all is the new shirt. Look at that thing. Let's get this out of the package. Oh, look at that. They got a little cool pull tab right here. Just grab that thing, pop it right up, it comes open. And there we go. Oh yeah, that's a pretty nice shirt, huh? I got it in a large. You can see the back right there. But pretty nice shirt. Feels good. It's one of the six cents fishing dry shirts. Okay. Right here. I actually did not know my rod would come with a little cool sleeve like that. But it definitely does better for me to have a storage. But I got this. It's a six cents fishing product. And it is a really nice rod sleeve. This stuff is not like your typical rod sleeves where it's made out of that netting and everything and it's gonna get caught up in it. This is a really, really nice material. I mean, I know y'all probably can't really see, but look at, y'all can see right here. Look at the thickness of this thing. The sewing is better than my grandma's. That is really exceptional sewing. It's real nice, it's clean. This great camo looks freaking awesome. It even has a little loop at the end. That's pretty cool. But it also has this so that you can tie it to it, cinch it up. It has a little, I actually don't know what these things are called, a little push lock, I'm not sure. I mean, by all means, you do you and you get it. Right here, I got me another six cents decal. This came to me for free. Uh, I like these stickers. It's gonna go on my boat, on my truck. I'm not sure, but it's going somewhere. Now, for the other thing I've really been wanting and really been waiting for, these six cents fishing juggler fishing pliers. They're made out of anodized aluminum. They're tungsten carbide side cutters. They're spring loaded. They're perfect for when you need to tune your crankbaits. Uh, super durability and stainless steel jaws on it. These thing, it's gonna be so sad that I have to ruin the package. Okay. This, way better than this though. Has a little clip right here, a little eyelet. So you can hook this right here on there or onto your belt loop or whatever. This comes with this little piece right here to slide onto your belt. And then of course the cool patch or the cool pouch has a little six cents fishing on there right here on the pliers it also says six cents do y'all see that awesomeness look at that the cutters ain't right here where it's all hard to push something in there and get it it's right there on the side and of course they got their little six cent symbol right there
All right, this awesome purpley blue velvet bag that y'all have seen. This, this is a lot of stuff in here. I can feel it already. But y'all seen one of these before. I got it with my bigger order that I got. Really nice. These bags are awesome. I'm telling you, I much prefer a bag than a box. I mean, it all has to come in a box to be shipped, but having something else to put my things in uh, is real nice. Th these bags are useful for everything. I, I mean, a lot of y'all probably use Crown Royal bags for a lot of things. This is where it's at now. All right, oh, thank goodness. I actually wanted one of these today for where I'm, for where I'm fishing at, but the Divine Swim Jig right here in the Gizzard Flash. This thing is gorgeous. Look at that, it's a quarter ounce uh, swim jig. They call it the Divine Swim Jig. Oh yeah. Give those little bristles a little bit of a trim. And uh, we'll be fishing for sure. They all have a screw lock keeper on it. It works real well. Holds on to all my baits. Oh goodness, there's just like so much more to pull out of here. This is crazy. All right, y'all. Oh man. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. The one that I gave away on my other one. The one that I gave to that boy Austin. To provoke 106X. Electric reaction. This paint job on this thing is awesome. I love these things. Let's go ahead and stay close and personal right now. All right, what else do we got here? <coughs> I got a big Crush 250 MD. Ooh, I got a nice Curve 55, and it is the Molting Crawfish. This is one that I do not have. And right here, Oh man, another crush flat. I like that. New pattern for me. Flat crush, 75X, and Shad Fantasy. Wow, wow, wow. And then we have the Snatch 70X in Chrome Magic. That thing is exceptional. That sounds super nice. Wow, awesome. So, in my premium sack, see if I can hold all these. I have the Snatch 70X and the beautiful Chrome Magic, the Curve 55, it is a five to nine foot diver, it's three eighths ounce. Molten crawfish. That provoke 106X in the electric reaction. The one that I'm super glad that I got now. Almost died giving this thing away. And the Crush Flat 75X again. Shad Fantasy. And a Crush 250 MD. And this awesome little divine swim jig. This gizzard flash. I'm gonna go catch a fish on this in just a minute, y'all. I'm gonna put one of my little swim baits on there and I'm gonna smoke some bass right into my boat. All right, for now, that's it. Let's go ahead and rig up that reel, get some line on my reel, uh, put it through the rod, get this all hooked up. And let's see if we can't make some divine magic out of this. I'll see y'all in the water in just a little bit. Yeah, I threw it on that jig. That divine swim jig. 
Oh, Lord have mercy, dude. Come here, you little freaking. Look at him fight, dude. What? What the hell, even? Oh, yep, yeah, we're not drinking that no more. So I just had bass juice go right in my coffee. Look at that honky tonker. Holy cow. It's that divine swim jig right inside there. I told y'all when I switch up it'll work. And while y'all been playing with me. Alright y'all. I caught that bad boy. Right there on that divine jig. I don't have any divine swim baits right now, but I put a little Strike King Rage Tail on there and it was a monster firecracker to hit this beautiful, beautiful bass with. Put this thing in the water. Alright, oh Shane with Iceberg Fishing does put a damn fish in my boat. These guys come out here to my area and they start catching fish like they're crazy. Number four. All right, iceberg fishing coming oh, in here with another one. one. Oh man! Look at the on him. What in the world? Wow, dude, wait to see this bass. Dude, that is super awesome. That thing has spots all over it. Now look at this thing. How crazy is that? They don't know hula popper. Got the hula popper right there in his mouth on some top water action. That's a nice fish. Iceberg fishing pulling in another one. Oh, that's a hefty one, dude. That's a nice one. I'll bring it in. I'll get it. Dude, you got him double hooked, too. Oh, man, brother. Dude, that's a chunky monkey right there, Rob. Ooh. <laughs> We're good. We're good. There we go. Oh yeah. Dude. That's a freaking Goliath over here. Okay, I went recording, obviously. But we were having a rough time. Came out here and I ended up just saying, screw it, I'm gonna throw in a drop shot just to see what happens before we leave. And by God, I got that damn little fish. Look at that. Right in the corner of his trap. Right in the corner of his little mouth. He's a little dinky do, but he'll do for me. Put that bad boy right back in there. Sploosh, that's a 10. That was a good dive. Y'all see that? Not even any splash, man. I'm telling you, the drop shot's the smoking thing right now, buddy. These fish are acting like they're in a whole nother world than the other fish we've been catching. He's a good little fighter though, especially on this little light action rod. No, that is definitely not the same one. He's heavier. He's definitely heavier. Oh. Fish rod. Oh, yep, yeah, that's definitely a fish. Yeah. There we go. Good God, calm down. Cop, cop. All right, dude. Okay, that little dude. Very nice looking. Hardy little guy. All right. This dude's got some really cool spots. Looks real neat. But we're gonna let him go. Bye bye, dude. Zoom, zoom. All right. Good Lord, he had that thing in his mouth. All right, real quick before I ran out of battery power in this thing. Just wanted to show you all I got this SLX. We're right here on the 6 inch divine rod. 7.5, as y'all can see, medium, heavy, fast. And right now, I have that Provoke jerk bait on there. Watch this thing fly across this pond. You see that thing? It's almost to the other side of the pond. I almost hit that turtle on its head. 50 pound braid is on here.
I'm not catching a fish at this place right now. But I am having hella fun using this rod. 